Welcome to EasyLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is Volume of Common Solids. Our subtopic is Volume of a Frustum of a Pyramid. So previously we looked at the volume of a frustum of a cone. I just like I said before, since we have reviewed frustums in surface area, you can check that video out. So, and we also talked about the volume of a pyramid. We said that the volume of a pyramid is a third base area times height. And when you talk about the height, we are talking about the inner height, the slanting height. So when you want to get the volume of a frustum, the same case we got the volume of a frustum of a cone, we are going to separate the volume of the frustum of the bigger pyramid minus the volume of the frustum of the of the smaller pyramid we get the first round. so this is how it looks like so we have the top the smaller pyramid where after it is cut that is what is uh, removed and then the hole now you take the hole minus the smaller one you are left with the first round. so let's do a practical example so that you can be able to understand what i am meaning so we have this question this question you have been given everything so we have the height, and you can see the height of the smaller cone is three centimeters. The smaller pyramid is three centimeters, and the height of the bigger pyramid is three plus six, which gives you nine. And we have the uh, uh, values for the uh, base area, base, uh, and the, also the, uh, the upper part, and it's a square. Uh, it's a rectangle, that is. So we have a rectangle at the top and the rectangle at the bottom. So this we have all the values. So our work is just to incorporate our formula. And we said our formula is going to be a third base area times bigger height minus a third base area times smaller height. So you do for the bigger uh, pyramid and the bigger pyramid is a third base area we have a rectangular base as you can see 15 by 12 so it's going to be 15 times 12 and then times our height and it's the height of the bigger pyramid which we said is 9 and then we subtract a third our base area for the smaller uh, pyramid is still a rectangle but it is 5 by 4 and then times our height which is a smaller one which is 3 you see, this one is a bit direct because there is no much like calculations that is going to be done. So your work is just to input uh, the values. So we have cancelled by 3, 1 by 3, 3, by 3, 1 by 3, 1. So it's 15 times 12 uh, times 3, which gives us... five forty for the first one and it's centimeters cubed. And then for the second one, it's going to be five times four, which is just 20. So if you subtract 540 minus 20 and it's centimeters cubed, we get 520 centimeters cubed. This was completely direct because you have all the values. Let's look at the cases where you have not been given the top part, like in this case. So this tells you that the first thing that you need to do is extend your pyramid so it can be a large pyramid. So let's do that together. So this is the, the, the first term. So if we extend it, this is what we get. So we have nine by nine. So this is a square based pyramid, both the smaller one and the larger one. And this is three by three centimeters, three centimeters. And then we have the height of the first term, which is eight centimeters. So the biggest thing you notice we don't have in this case is the height of the smaller first term, smaller pyramid, which helps us to get the height of the whole, the bigger pyramid. So how do we go about that? So the first thing we do is we're going to use linear scale factor. And linear scale factor, we said the one side of the bigger uh, pyramid, which is nine, over another small another side of the smaller pyramid, which is three, is equals to the height of the bigger pyramid, which we do not know. So we are going to give the smaller pyramid h. So the bigger one is supposed to be h plus eight. So h plus eight. 
over the height of the smaller pyramid, which is eight. So when we cross multiply, you are going to get 9h is equals to 3 into bracket h plus 8. So this is 9h is equals to 3h plus 3 times 4 is going to give us, 3 times 8, sorry, is going to give us 24. So we put light terms together. So that's 9h, you bring minus plus uh, 3h here and it becomes minus 3h is equals to 24. So this is 6h is equals to 24. So you divide by 6 both sides and you get h is by 6, 1 by 6, 4. So h is going to be 4. So this smaller height of the smaller pyramid is 4. That tells you the bigger pyramid is 8 plus 4, which tells us is 12 centimeters. Now we have everything. Let's input in our formula. Our formula is a third base area times bigger height, that is for the bigger pyramid, minus a third base area times height for the smaller pyramid. So this is a third base area for the bigger pyramid is a, is a square, so it's 9 times 9. And then our height now for the bigger one, remember, is 8 plus 4, which gives us 12. And then minus the smaller one. Now a third base area of the smaller one is still a square, 3 times 3. And then the smaller height is 4 as we have calculated. So by 3, 1, by 3, 3. So this is going to be 3 times 9 times 12, which is going to give us 324. And it is centimeters cubed. And then for the other one, it's by 3, 1, by 3, 1. So it's 3 times 4, which gives us 12 centimeters cubed. So when we do that subtraction, it's going to give us 312 centimeters cubed, which is a volume of our frustum. So when you, there are other formulas that are there that can be used to calculate what we have just done. What we did was using the long method. We still, we can use uh, this formula, but you notice it still requires us to do some bit of work. So you can use this formula, just write it down somewhere. If you can be able to remember it, you can use it. But also make sure you're able to use the linear scale factor. It's going to be very important. So when we extend our, our pyramid, let's extend our pyramid. So we need to get the smaller height. We have been given the uh, base and the other one that is also the other base on top here. And you can see this is a square-based uh, pyramid, not a square, a uh, rectangular-based pyramid. So we need to get the height. And we said you take the linear scale factor, one side of the bigger frustum, which is 9, over one side of the uh, other frustum, which is 4.5. So we are taking the ones that are side by side. Remember, this is 4.5. You can decide to take 8 and 4 centimeters. Either way, still it works. And then is equals to the height is for the bigger one is going to be 5 plus h over the smaller one is h. You cross multiply. So this gives us 9h is equals to 4.5 into bracket 5 plus h. So this is 9h is equals to so 4.5 times 5 gives us 22.5 plus 4.5 h. So if we put light terms together, it's going to be 9.9 9 h minus 4.5 h is equals to 22.5. So if you do 9 minus 4.5, you're going to get 4.5. So 4.5 h is equals to 22 divided by 4.5 divided by 4.5. So 22.5 uh, divided by 4.5 gives us 5. So the value of h is 5. That tells you the bigger height is going to be 5 plus 5, which gives us 10 centimeters. So let's go back to our formula. It's going to be a third uh, base area times bigger height minus a third base area times smaller height. So this is the same as a third. The base area of the larger, first, uh, larger pyramid is 9 times 8. And then the bigger height is 10 as we have just calculated. Minus a third 
base area of the smaller uh, pyramid is going to be 4 times 4.5 and then the height of the smaller pyramid is going to be 5. So by 3, 1, by 3, 3, so that is uh, 3 times 8 times 10, which is uh, 240 centimeters cubed. And then for this one, we have uh, by 3, 1, by 3, 1 1.5, so it is 4 times 1.5 times 5, which gives us 30 centimeters cubed. Remember, it's cubed. So we do, do the subtraction, we get 210 centimeters cubed. So that's how we calculate the uh, volume of a, of a thrust drum from a pyramid. So check out more topic or revision questions on the same and notes on the app and get familiarize yourself with the different uh, problems uh, in regards to the same content. See you in the next lesson. Thank you.